What's happening, everybody? It's Aftermath on the Sportsnet YouTube page with Nug, Anthony, Kevin, and Jimmy. And we're going to talk about what we didn't like this week in the WWE. And uh, let's get started with our fails. Jimmy, uh, we're very similar, uh, but uh, you're taking an angle on this. You don't like Sasha Banks and Carmella having a little bit of a interaction. No. Um, again, we went with the contract signing on Friday Night SmackDown, which is becoming a little bit redundant, don't you think? We're seeing too many of these. And then they, they almost got me when they said, hey, we'll have the match tonight on, on Friday Night SmackDown. And I didn't like the ending of the match where the, uh, the good, not the villain, but the, the who's, who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy in this? They both act kind of like, anyway, yeah. I hate that area of gray. But anyways, the one who's supposed to be the baby face, so to speak, ends up getting disqualified for not uh, uh, adhering to the rules. That doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't make sense to me. Yes, Carmella was pushing buttons, but they made me mm -hmm. less interested in looking forward to this match at the pay-per-view as opposed to making me look forward to it, which is not what you're supposed to do. Well, not at all. And, and not only that, but it, it kind of ties into mine. I don't mind uh, a new attitude or character for Carmella. I'm fine with that. But Carmella hasn't had a match since April and is suddenly the number one contender for Sasha Banks title. I, as we've said many times, you go away for a while, then you come back and punch the champion in the mouth. Suddenly you have a championship match. It's either that or beat the champion in a non-title match. And then you're the number one contender because you've already beaten them. Uh, we see it all the time. There has to be a way for Carmella, who hasn't been in the ring since April, to have a couple of matches before that to show us how good she is to show us she's deserving if you just punch the champion and the champion said i just even needed sasha to say i really want to fight her and she never did it's just been attack 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 and now carmella has a match and it's a championship match right away even on friday night that was a championship match mm -hmm. and yeah, she, she didn't care about winning some, the title she needs to squash some local talent <laughs> yes yeah. and build up a little bit you know sasha it seems like she's wants her cake and she wants to eat it too. You, you want to be cheered for like a baby face, but, but you got to have the, the personality attributes of a baby face. And uh, you're right, Jimmy, the gray is, is, it's okay. It's okay to be good. It's okay to be nice. Yeah. It's okay to be, you don't have to be a rebel all the time or, or you know, a badass. but anyway. And it's okay not to be liked. Oh man, it's the most fun not to be liked. Trust yes. me, Jimmy, you remember from Twitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, Anthony, let's move on to you. Anthony, you didn't like Jeff Hardy being added to the New Day for that six-man match. Yeah, you know, we talked about it um, actually years ago now um, in the cafeteria. You know, you got corn on Monday, peas on Tuesday, mm -hmm. corn and peas on Wednesday. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> thing. You're just mixing it different. So uh, I forget whose fail it was last week. I don't know, it may have been yours, just the, the, the Hurt Business and, and the New Day, like, you just add Jeff Hardy and we're supposed to be completely distracted that it's still the New Day versus the Hurt Business. You just added one guy. That doesn't change anything. So now it's just corn and peas and carrots. Big deal. Still corn and peas from Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, nothing gets me excited for the New Day against the Hurt Business at TLC like the New Day against the Hurt Business 50 times before TLC. <laughs> Well, you know what could really solve this is if we had one other tag team <laughs> that could compete in the tag team division. Oh, imagine. Just give me something else. I'm sick yeah. of corn and peas and carrots. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm ready for something new. Don't Throw a sloppy me Joe in there. off my boots and tag up with our truth I will do it. I love it. <laughs> oh, there you go. I love it. Oh, Post my code. goodness. Mm. I like that a lot. Uh, let's move on to Kevin. Kevin, there is a deadly serious championship match on Monday Night Raw, hap that match is happening at TLC, and boy, are they trying to be hilarious. Is it serious? <laughs> is it? I mean, because Monday Night Raw made it seem like it's a freaking children's tale all of a mm -hmm. sudden. What was the night before TLC? This is, is for the WWE Championship. Can you imagine back in 1998, Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on the Undertaker, and they had a children's book read before their championship match? Absolutely not. Drew McIntyre, first of all, has got to be one of the most feared-looking champions that there is. AJ Styles, one of the best in-ring competitors that this generation has seen. 
And now to help hype the match, you have the Miz reading a fairy tale with Miz and Morrison acting out. Morrison was actually okay, by the way. He was kind of funny with the Pretty Scottish great. accent, but that's that's mm. besides the point. Uh, and then AJ Styles also acting out a part. It was this did not hype me for a championship match, especially when you consider what's happening on Friday Night SmackDown and the hype for that one, the seriousness, the intensity in that one being top level at an all time high. You have one down here and then you have one way up here and it's not very good. I will go one step further and, and continue it from last night. It was the opening segment of the night and the opening mm -hmm. segment of every show is designed to get the audience attracted and invested and in and wanting to stick on the channel and watch the show. And, you know, no, you were talking about, uh, we were talking before we got on the air about past Raws and stuff like that. And they used to open up with the glass breaking, like a stone cold music or if you smell what yeah. the, and the place would go banana. It was incredible. <laughs> last night, um, they slipped on a banana peel. You opened the show last night, like to open the show with a bang, you open it with a bedtime story mm -hmm. to set the tone for three hours of snooze. Lullaby, yeah, and yeah, there you go. To, to add to that, I wasn't a fan of the main event being a promo segment either. Um, mm. You know, there was some violence at the end that kind of went off the air, but the main event's a main event. It should be, it doesn't have to be anything to do with the, with the pay-per-view coming up. It can be a main event match that was just put together for that particular show. Two guys, two even mid-carters that are just happening, you know, luckily getting a main event spot, whatever it is. The main event is a main event. Don't throw it away with the promo segment. And the beginning thing, yeah, I mean, at least it was the Miz doing it. So, yeah. so it was, uh, yeah. points to uh, points to like as you said, John Morrison was pretty good. Points to Morrison for when Miz said, "What are you doing?" Morrison said, "Improv," and Miz went, "No." <laughs> uh, also later when he got hit when they were narrating the action and AJ punched him in the back just very quietly Morrison went arm me back like a like a yeah. pirate for some reason right uh guys that's what we thought was not so great in the world of WWE this week tell us what you thought let us know use the hashtag ask after mess send us your comments your questions and uh perhaps your rapping tips because at Jimmy Cordero Jimmy needs Jimmy needs wrapping tips for Christmas. He does not know how to wrap a package correctly. Like, oh, I thought it was oh, like wrestling oh, no, no, no. is my he favorite does know. sport. His freestyle is oh, okay. on point, but his right. actual present wrapping is not so great. So uh, stick around. We're going to talk about TLC and Kevin's trivia as well. Ooh, how hard is it going to be? I'm guessing very hard. Pheasants stick around. Pheasants. Check it out. Oh, it's pheasants.